In this video I'm going to speak about switch port analyzer feature which some of the switches of Cisco or some other vendors support that because this is a standard protocol. Uh, we have three types of span. One which is called the span, the normal span that we have. One it is called remote span or you see it as R span and one which is specifically for Cisco is called ER span or it is encapsulated remote span. Now this ER span is kind of a new feature and uh, not all switches support that. The platform which I am working on that doesn't support ER span, but I'm going to tell you what the configuration looks like. Well, let's just start with the span. So the span says that this is going to monitor some ports and all the traffic from that port is going to be forwarded to another port. This means that the source and destination port cannot be the same. Let's say for example on switch 3 we have a server here, which is of course here I have written file server, but let's say that that's kind of a database server or something which can log messages or save all the flow that we sent to that. So this is going to be my destination port as a matter of fact. And let's say that there is a server connected to this port, a mail server, and for some reason we have some problem on this mail server which we cannot troubleshoot using the normal network tools. The traffic seems to be normal, everything seems to be okay, but there is a problem and this problem cannot be identified using the network analyzer tools. So what we do is we send a copy of the data, any data that this port can send and I just uh, send it normally on the ports to the destinations, but I'm going to send a copy of that to this site, to this server, so that it can be saved there and later uh, visited by the administrators to figure out the problems. So this is a local span or a normal span like I said, because the source and destination port, this is going to be my source, the source and destination port are, uh, both are on the same switch. What if I have the source on another switch? Let's say, for example, this PC has a phone connected to that, and this phone doesn't work properly, and everything seems to be okay, but I want to send a copy of the data that this phone sends. I want to save it on this file server so that I can uh, check it later and see if there is any problem with the traffic flow or some other reasons, for example. What I need to do is to get the information from here, so this is going to be my source, and I'm going to give it to a VLAN. This VLAN is going to be go through the trunk, I'm going to be sent through the trunk, and here I'm going to receive it, so source is going to be a VLAN, and destination is going to be this port, and then the traffic is going to be forwarded to the server which I have here. So this is the basics of span. Let's go for the configuration. I'm going to go to switch 3 to start the configuration. On switch 3 I can go to global configuration mode. And in global configuration mode all I need to do is to say that I am monitoring. So we have monitor session and then you need to create an instance for that, for example session number one here, and then it says what is the source, what is the destination, in if there is going to be any filter for that. So I just say that source is going to be, let's say, E03, or for example E10, and that's going to be my source here, and after that I have to enter, so it says source interface, sorry, source interface is gonna be Ethernet 1.0 and then what is the destination? I need to specify the destination as well. So what I need to do is to go to here and say destination is gonna be interface, for example, what is the interface here that I have for destination? Ethernet 1, 0. Of course, Ethernet 1, 0 was chosen for this. Let's say I'm going to say Ethernet 1, 1, because the source and destination cannot be the same. And that's going to create the monitor for me. So if I just say show monitor, and 
for example, session, let's say for example, one or all or everything, let's say I'm going to say all, it says that I have one session here, the type is a local session, and the source port is going to be one zero, the destination port is going to be one one, and there is no specific encapsulation, that's the native encapsulation that I have here. What about ER span? Let's go to switch to and start the configuration from here. And here I'm going to go to configuration mode and let's say that I'm going to create a session with the number 2. The source is going to be E10. This is going to receive the interface traffic and it's going to send it to a VLAN. So I need to assign a destination for that as well. So the destination uh, the destination is going to be a VLAN this time because I'm going to choose it so I say remote and then say VLAN and let's say what is the number for the VLAN. Let's say, for example, VLAN 10 is going to be chosen for this. Now, something that is important to understand is this VLAN should be specified for remote session. So what I need to do is to type VLAN 10. If I haven't created this already, I can create it here. And then I can say remote span. And with this, this VLAN would be specified for remote span. So I have this. Now if I just show monitor session 1, it says that no span configuration is present in the system for session 1 right now, for, of course it was session 2. Okay, now the session says the destination was VLAN 10, uh, source port is Ethernet 1.0, and the type instead of local span is going to be remote source. Now let's go back to or switch 3 here. On switch 3, what I'm going to do is to go here. Let's say that I'm not going to have monitor session 1. I'm going to remove it. I'm going to say monitor session 2. And of course, the source destination is a source uh, interface. Our source is going to be a VLAN here. So I say source is remote. VLAN and that's going to be VLAN 10. Now that I have configured this, I need to assign a destination for that and destination is going to be interface of course Ethernet 1.0 and with this I have created the session on switch 3. VLAN of course should have the same configuration. So this VLAN is going to be a remote span as well. Now that I have configured this, so show if I show um, monitor session all, it will say that there is a session two here and the remote destination session. Here we had remote source session, right? Now we have a remote destination session here. The source is going to be 10, VLAN 10. The destination is this and encapsulation is native. So this is how you configure uh, span and RSpan. Now like I said, ERSpan is not supported on devices. Some ASR 10,000, some uh, 1,002, for example, is the uh, support this. Some Catalyst 6500 series support this. And it, of course, is not supported in all type of interface. Now, again, uh, how do you configure that? If you want to configure that, you can just say monitor session, again, and session number, for example, 3. And here, instead of having destination and source, what you need to have is a type. You would say type is going to be ER span and then 
you will go for a source and destination because this will take you to a sub configuration uh, that would be ER span configuration and you would start configuring that. 